When I search for breath burgers in the area, and which I do a lot, and I don't know why because obviously I've eaten all of them, but there's this one that keeps popping up on my list and it's called Hop Dotty. And people ask me, they go, Brian, have you been to Hop Dotty? And I'm like, no, I haven't been there. I thought it was this little burger place in Dallas that I just needed to go to someday. Turns out it's a lot bigger than that. And it's got a fun name, Hop Dotty. I mean, how cool is that? I got us some food and we're gonna try it right after this intro. Welcome back to Brick Eats. I'm your host, Brian Brickman. I'm the host because I'm the only person on the show. How can I be a host if I'm the only one? Maybe I need a new title for myself. I'm the one and only person in the video. Unless you count the hamburger. Nah, that would be a cow and it's dead. That'd be weird. Anyway, focus, Brian. We, we need to pay attention. So today we're at Hop Dotty. Hop Dotty. What a fun way to say it. I want to say it the way Grego says Puff Daddy. There's an obscure reference for you. I honestly thought Hop Dotty was just this one burger place in Dallas that I needed to go to. So they opened one up here in Plano, Texas. Well, I guess it's a good time to go to Hop Dotty. And I look up the website and apparently I, uh, it's not a small burger place. It is a chain. It is, it's in five states. It's in Arizona, Colorado, California, Tennessee, and obviously Texas because, you know, that's where I'm at. And if I kind of get home, that's five. So it was started in 2010 by a group of friends who wanted to make a better burger. They got all kinds of stuff up in this place. They got burgers, obviously. They got some really cool looking burgers like this DL Diablo burger. That looks really good. They've got fries and I'm not talking just fries. Man, they got like truffle fries and like buffalo fries and nacho fries. They have nacho fries have pico and guacamole and sour cream and cheese all over them. Damn, I wanted to get those. I'm gonna have to come back. They have all good chicken sandwiches. They got, they, man, they got gluten free stuff for my wife. Well, I mean, I don't know if it's specifically for her, but like she can eat here. So that's pretty awesome. But today, today, today only, I got the prime. Time. That's right. Named after Deion Sanders. Don't quote me on that. I just made that up. The prime time, though, is a half pound, half pound hop dolly prime blend of burger. It's got fondue cheese, man. Fondue. Well, I don't know what fondue cheese is, to be honest with you. Isn't that where you got the little sticks and you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all sit around the little burner and cook stuff by yourself. I don't know. I used to play with my parents fondue set when I was a kid. I don't know. Caramelized onions, arugula which is a fancy word for lettuce. I 86 the tomatoes because eh, truffle aioli. Okay, first of all, uh, I don't know if you've had truffles, but and truffles make everything the bomb. And aioli is already good. And then it's got the HD1 steak sauce. I don't know what that is. I'm assuming it's hot dotty one. Huh? Yeah, I'm clever, right? But first, we gotta get the fries out and try those. Oh. Look at these French fries. Whoa. Now these are the truffle fries. So they are covered with Parmesan and truffle. Mmm. Ooh. Oh my God. Mmm. Okay. These fries are the bomb. Oh wow. Dude. Oh my God. This, uh, this got like uh, green stuff on it and Parmesan and truffle oil like messing. Mmm. Mmm, oh my god, I'm starving. They are, man, they're perfect. They're a little bit little, not quite a shoestring fry, but definitely on the smaller side for fries. Crispy on the outside, chewy in the middle, just like you like them. Man, okay, top daddy. So far, so good. We, we have to try the ranch. I didn't realize they gave me a ranch. That's not ranch. That is like, holy sh that is really good. Man, that is like an aioli. That's like a, that's like a, man, I don't even know. Oh my God. This is just, wow. Get the truffle fries. Get extra of this dressing, man. Holy cow. It's like a, like a flavor explosion. Okay. But now it's prime time, baby. It's prime time. It even says prime time on it. See? Prime time and it's got a cow. See the little cow? Ah, see that little, you see that little cow there? Here we go, prime time. Doobie doobie doo. <laughs> Look at the size of that burger. Oh my god. Oh wow. Oh. Look at all the juicy, yummy, goody, little caramelized onions are the holy smoke. You see this thing? This thing is awesome. 
Oh, it's just melty. The cheese, the fondue cheese, caramelized onions, the arugula. What did it have? It had a, some kind of aioli and a steak sauce. Mm. Holy mother of God, where have you been my whole life? Dude, this is amazing. Mm. Okay, first of all, it's this massive burger patty. Look at that thing. I mean, look how thick it is. And this, this, this truffle aioli that's on here is fabulous. And these caramelized onions. Holy smokes, man. It tastes like a burger from a steakhouse. Maybe that's why they call it prime time. Could be. Could be. Wow, this is so good. Mmm. I could not believe that I waited this long to eat a hot dog. This is ridiculous, man. You, you God. Bush, America, if you live near a hot dog, even if you live like a couple hours away, go get this burger. Oh, man. They have tons of burgers on the menu that look good, too. The double bacon jam. They've got one that's like they share the profits with a local charity. I mean, how cool is that, right? The jalapenos. They got an El Diablo that's got like spicy stuff. And then, man, this is prime time, bro. Ooh-wee, this is good. I cannot wait to come back and eat more. On my good, better, best scale, this gets a best for sure. Like, this isn't close. This is a best burger for, man, I'm not lying. Get to Hot Roddy. You will not regret it. And I am not usually your gourmet burger guy. I kind of like the hole in the wall places. The, you know, they're selling out of the back of a their garage or whatever. But dude, this is excellent. I'm talking Brick Eats approved right here. I don't want to do this video anymore. I just want to eat this and just uh, savor every single bite. Mmm, it's so good. Mmm, they got a bar in there too. How cool is that? You got happy hour? You can go sit at the bar. Hey, Garrison Brothers bourbon. You know you're doing something right if you have Garrison Brothers at your bar, okay? Crap beer, margaritas. Shit, I might just take my to go order back in there and go sit at the bar and maybe call it a day. <laughs> Well, that's it for me. Thanks so much for watching this video. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. And hit that like button if you like it. Hit that subscribe button. I appreciate that too. Until next time, keep eating at Hop Dottie and Gourmet Burger Places. And we'll see ya.